Don't try what we do at home. Because we're experienced professionals and we know what we're doing. And we're also really, really dumb. It started with a series of earthquakes. And then in March of 2021, a volcano erupted in Iceland. The fiery engines of creation are always churning beneath the surface of this island nation, ready at a moment's notice to spring forth into the living world. I'm professional photographer Ian Plant, and I travel the world looking for the most amazing places and subjects to capture with my camera. And in this exciting photo adventure, I am joined by my good friend and colleague, Joseph Roybal. And together, we will encounter bitter cold and ferocious winds as we go face to face with one of the most amazing spectacles on planet Earth, an active volcano. Two photographers, four drones, one mission to get the shot no matter what. Of a volcano! volcano! So a month ago, our colleague Eris Marom was here in Iceland to photograph the volcano. And let's just say that things were a little bit different then. This is amazing. This is so good. This is unbelievable. My mind is actually blown. So even though the volcano was much more active when he was there, I think that Joseph and I are up to the challenge and we're hoping to make some photos that will rival the ones taken by Airs. So on this trip to Iceland, I brought with me my Mavic Air 2 as my primary drone. I have my Mavic Pro as my backup, just in case the other guy gets eaten or swallowed by the volcano. I also have with me my Sony a7R and two lenses. I am utilizing Tamron's 17 to 28 f2.8, and then I also have their 28 to 200 uh, all in one kind of zoom, and that's a 2.8 to a 5.6, and that will cover everything. I also have two drones. I've got my Mavic 2 Pro and my Mavic 2 Zoom as a backup, and then I've got three Tamron lenses, the 17 to 28, the 28 to 75, and the 70 to 180 for Sony E-mount cameras, and this will cover the entire range for me from wide angle to short telephoto allowing me to get many different variations of the volcano. So the drone I feel is really gonna be the key ticket here, the piece of kit that is gonna create the images that I'm looking for, being able to go up and down, left and right, get the angles and the perspectives that I really, really want. All right, so here we are, getting ready to hike up this hill, going up to the volcano, clouds are awesome, lights are awesome, I can't wait. The hike's really not that bad except for this one big steep hill you gotta climb. Good thing I don't have a bunch of heavy camera gear in my backpack. I think we go this way. So what we're finding here on our way up is this wind is howling. We came around the bend and it's just raging. Not sure if we're gonna be able to get our drones up. We're gonna try at the very least. I'm so excited to see what this volcano looks like. We made it up to the lava field. You can see it behind me here, but we can't see the volcano yet. We got one more hill to go over, and then we can see the volcano. This wind is insane. I'm not only worried about flying my drones, I'm worried about standing upright in this wind. I think that's it. It's going. It's going to be in flow. Look at that. So I've got a shot here with the Tamron 70 to 180, and I'm actually zoomed out quite a bit. We're pretty far back, and I'm including some of the lava field. There's a bit of an S-curve going from the foreground to the background, some great clouds, and uh, I can see the lava bubbling up. The steam is coming out, so any second now, here it comes. Spilling out, here we go. Well, it's pretty windy tonight, but I think I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to launch my drone. It's coming. Man, I'm getting epic 
footage flying my drone above the volcano looking down into the crater and it's just beautiful seeing the lava lake pulse one minute you got beautiful light the next you're getting rained on ah iceland so i didn't fly tonight uh, i just was feeling a little nervous on it i'm using a different drone than ian and i got mine up a couple times and it was just super shaky super unstable so i didn't want to risk losing my drone so i decided to do a little bit of land camming tonight So for the hike up and coming up, I'm keeping this really simple and going one camera, one lens, and I'm using Tamron's 28 to 200. It's so perfect for being able to shoot anything a little tighter and then also just reaching all the way in, um, you know, onto this volcano here. And so here, I'm gonna take a couple shots because this is actually erupting. I've got a bigger drone than Joseph does. Mine's the Mavic 2 Pro. So I think it was handling the wind better than his smaller drone would have been able to do. And I'm glad I got it up there. I got some great shots. Definitely some really unique perspectives you can get when you're flying the drone. But we can still get some good shots here from the ground. I'm shooting with Tamron 70 to 180. That allows me to zoom in even though the volcano is further back. So I'm glad I've got that lens with me. It's allowing me to get the shots that otherwise I would not have been able to get. And that's how it's done. Another day, another trip up the big hill. Today, there's no wind and it feels like summer up here. The past few days have been really challenging. We've had rough weather, high winds. We've had rain, lots of storminess. It's gotten progressively better each day. And now today's the day to bring it all together and get the perfect shots. We're super excited to get back up here. Lights looking awesome. Clouds are looking great. Come rain, wind, sleet or shine, we're gonna get the shot. So I found this really, really beautiful comp with side light coming in, illuminating the side of the volcano where the lava is rolling down into this lava pool, smoke's billowing up from the floor down here of all the lava around it. I've got a really cool shot. I found some lava in the next valley over. Heading out to these hills, they've got some dappled light on them. If I turn around the other way, the volcano is in the shot and there's a lot of steam that's in between my drone and the volcano. So I'm waiting for the next eruption and when that happens, I'm gonna turn the drone around and shoot through all that steam. And I'm hoping that will set this ethereal mood that will capture the true beauty of this incredible place. So one of the shots that I'm really excited about is finding this location that has just the light coming in 90 degrees on the cone. It's just really illuminating the, the landscape, the side light, the smoke coming off the lava field, and then the eruption. And I love to do a bit of pano when I shoot, so it's about a one, two, and a three, just to show the, the scope of everything out here. So I'm currently floating and flying over the top of the volcano, and I position myself so I can see the bubbles inside, in the pool. And it's starting to bubble right now. Oh my God, all right, it's starting to bubble. Here it goes, it's starting to erupt. Oh, amazing. I'm getting really nervous. I'm like five minutes left on my battery, but it's just starting to go. So I don't want to bring it back. All right, I'm reaching the point of no return here. I've got a, I've got a bull. I've got a bull. I've got a bull. Oh shoot, it's force landing me. When you get these force landings, you can still fly your drone. Just hold up on the sticks and keep it aloft. This is wind boys, we come in. Yeah. The light is beautiful right now. There's this golden light on the cloud above the volcano. So I am going to look to see if there's any good lava flows beneath the volcano. 
I'm going to make this count. I've got a lot of locations scouted. Now I just got to find the right composition and get ready for the next eruption. Make it happen. This is go time. Right now I am flying over the crater looking down and it's just beautiful watching the lava in the lava pool in the volcano just bubbling and pulsating. It's hypnotizing actually and it's a really great photo because you've got these patterns, it's like a fractal pattern formed by the lava pulsating in the lava pool and then you've got all of the crater surrounding it and the crater is in shadow so that's coming out kind of blue and the lava is this bright red. We got really lucky. They had closed the observation hill that was right beneath the volcano, but tonight the safety crew was letting people go by. So there is a crowd of about 100 people here tonight, and we have a courtside seat to the greatest show on earth. That was epic. What an epic day. Everything came together perfectly on this, our last day at the volcano. The sun came out, the wind died down. We were able to get our drones in the air and shoot to our heart's content and everything came together perfectly. And now out of nowhere, this thick mist has come in, obscuring our view of the volcano. I can't see the volcano at all right now. So I think this is Iceland's way of telling us it's time to pack up and head back down and to get ready for our next photo adventure. I feel like I've been here before. As long as I don't get burned alive by liquid hot magma. Gosh, you blow. That's great. Yeah!